Hey, what's up, guys? It's LEGO Hobo 910 here with another LEGO video. And in this video, I'm reviewing set number 30452, Iron Man and Dummy from Avengers Endgame. This is just a simple little $4 poly bag that I decided to pick up. So let's get right into the review. So, first off, let's start with the Iron Man side here. We'll look at the minifig closer in just a second. But this is really cool for the poly bag here that they included something to make him actually fly instead of just giving us a minifig and dummy. Uh, they kind of made him a lot cooler by giving him. Uh, just this little jet stream, and then also using these clear pieces to make him float, and then also giving him repulsors. So that's pretty nice. I like the uh, use of the water pieces there, and transparent blue to, you know, represent the flames coming out. Normally, they would just use, like, the pieces in that kind of splat blast pack, except obviously they can't include that in a set this small. Also, interestingly enough, there's a chrome-painted uh, grill cheese slope there, which is something that you'll rarely see. And then this is all just connected to him with the neck bracket there. And overall, it's a very simple little thing, but, you know, it lets him fly, adds a bit more to the poly bag. And also, if you want, you can easily tilt him to make it look like he's flying at different angles. Or you can even, like, bend his legs back a little bit. They do run into that pretty quickly to make it look like he's going uh, forward. It works a lot better there, so you now it looks like he's going forward a lot more. So, yeah, it's just a very simple little addition, but it's a nice addition. My one small complaint about this, but there's really nothing they can do about this without making the build a lot bigger, is the fact that it tips fairly easily. Yeah, it doesn't tip too easily like uh, Firefly from that one Batmax set, but it does tip fairly easily. So now let's go look at Dummy. We'll look at that minifig in just a sec. Here is Dummy, which is very similar, but also uh, has a few small differences to the dummy that comes in the Hall of Armor set, the main difference being this whole arm assembly, and that's that he just had a uh, robot arm within a fire extinguisher, and this one has the exact opposite, it like has a little blowtorch here, which can be bent there, and also you can turn it there a bit, it's a lot less uh, stable right here, but you can turn it if you want. And then the base here is very similar to the one in the Hall of Armor, but it works well, the only difference being that one grate there, and same with here, the only difference being this has a grate and the other one had that uh, white cone for the dunce cap. So, this also, if you want, the wheels can spin a little, since they are uh, loose on just, just some technical pins. But yeah, this is just a very simple little build, and, I don't know, it's just a nice, cheap way to pick up Dummy if you can't afford the Hall of Armor set. Plus, it's just simple and pretty cool. So here's Iron Man, the one minifig in the set, and this is the cheapest way to get one of these Quantum Realm suits that comes in almost every endgame set. I believe there's only one set that the Quantum Realm suit doesn't come in, and this is the cheapest way to get it, and it's just the same as on all the other minifigs with the Quantum Realm suit. His helmet and faceplate are just the same as uh, the Mark 50. This isn't really a new Iron Man suit, it's kind of a conglomeration, but I'm still going to count it as a new one just so I can say I have another different version of Iron Man, and technically it is different. And they just use these uh, blue studs for the repulsors, like I pointed out earlier. And even though this uh, torso is really common and also gets kind of boring real quick, that doesn't mean it doesn't have good quality. Like, if you look on the gray areas there when the light hits it correct, yeah, you can see all the little tiny printed silver dots to give it a bit more of a kind of metallic weave look. And overall, it's just a very detailed, uh, good-looking torso and legs. And good minifig, but it's just kind of a conglomeration. And obviously, you know, the faceplate can be lifted up. And he just has the same head as uh, they've been using on the Mark 50 in Infinity War and Endgame sets, where you have that one face, and then the other face that you can use is where he has the HUD over it. So yeah, it's a very simple minifig that's just kind of a conglomeration, but I still like it. So overall, this is a very simple and small set, but it's a pretty good deal for $4, because, you know, uh, you get a minifig, which are normally valued at about $4, though obviously this one would be a bit less because, like I said, it's just a conglomeration, it's really no, it's no new pieces, but I think it's a pretty good deal for $4 to get a minifig as well as uh, this cool little stand for him and dummy, so it's a pretty good deal and also a nice little set, and if you want to get a bunch more Quantum Realm suits and uh, you can't afford some of the bigger sets, so you know, you can just take the Quantum Realm suit and put heads on it from uh, previous waves, this is a nice cheap way of getting lots of Quantum Realm suits, I highly recommend this set, that's all for me for now, and bye. 